What's up ladies and gents, KG Drifty here, and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys some last of the multiplayer tips and tricks to help you game like a pro. In this segment, I'm going to be giving you guys some of my class setups to help you be more successful in last of the multiplayer and get more kills and less death. And before I even start with this video, I just wanted to, uh, you know, give a quick notice and let you guys know that this uh, class setup, it requires a pay, and then, um... But you can get some of this stuff for a deep for at least least amount of pay. So what I mean by is the perks are about ninety nine cents, and then the guns are about one ninety nine. But you can get the gun pack for at least three dollars or four dollars, one or five. But I'm, I'm guessing it's four dollars that you can get. But for people who really want to, you know, want to get these guns or, uh, and like really have a beast, you know, loadout and stuff, uh, you can just buy it for like you know a, a pretty low price. It's not too much. You can get it from a PSN store. But like I said, if for people who don't know what who like what they can get it from and buy it from you can get it like from a PlayStation Network card or you can use your debit card or credit card so I just wanted to just let it be out there and let it be known so you guys could just you know be more <clears throat> you know be more aware of that but um but yeah so let's just get started with the video so the first gun out of the class setup is the Enforcer and um, Enforcer is one of the guns that it, that requires the pay and I think it's about 199 on it or 99 99 uh, cents I'm guessing it's one of those two but the um, enforcer is one of the most uh, powerful guns in the game besides the Magnum because the, re the enforcer has a good uh, recoil it don't have it don't like you know jab make it easier for you make it hard for you to shoot at the enemy and it has like a good you know width span to make you get um, a better you know kill or a better shot at the uh, at the guy so it makes it much more better and the damage is pretty it's pretty good it's not the best but I guess due to like the fire rate of the gun and like the non-accuracy, it makes it like like literally one of the best pistols in the game. But um, Magnum is a, is another um, powerful gun in the game as well, since you know it's a 44 Magnum and it has a lot. Well, 357 Magnums, you know, always one of the powerful one due to the bullet sizes and stuff. But the Enforcer is like one of the most powerful guns in the game due to the fire rate and also less recoil. So that's one of the good guns that you can use in the, um, in this class and it's one of the best. So you know, be aware of that. But remember, it's only 99 cents or 199. It's out of those two. So yeah, so you guys can just check that out. Now the second gun is the full auto rifle, and this is for you guys. You guys can unlock this by you know collecting the blue half things, but um, as you guys know, full auto rifle, it's like a, it's kind of like a semi-automatic rifle, I'm guessing. I don't think it's like a fully automatic, but yeah, it's basically like a semi-automatic, but it's one of the powerful ones as well, because, you know, the fire rate is, is outrageously good and high, so it makes it much more easier to kill the enemy. But the damage is pretty low, but like I said, the fire rate helps it out more, and the recoil is it's pretty good. It's not it's not that bad to like you know really be annoyed of, but I think well, like when you shoot at it, shoot at an enemy, it beats on target like right away. So I mean, it has like a little bit like maybe three percent of um, recoil span. So I mean, you got to really really be precise with your shots and you know really think aware. But this gun really does go out of ammo very very quickly. So you remember just be aware of that. And then, you know, just don't spray your uh, weapon like it ain't nothing. So, yeah, just be aware of that. Now, the um, now moving on to the perks. And one of the perks is 4 to 2 2. And this is one of the perks that is required to pay. And it's 99 cents on the PlayStation Network. And what 4 to 2 do, I think, in my opinion, I think it gives you more health, I'm guessing. It's either health or helps you run faster. Yeah, yeah, I think 4 to 2, it helps you run faster. And what it does is it helps you run faster and make you move more more efficiently and more silently. So basically when you climb, run, walk, you won't show up on the um, enemy on the enemy radar, I don't think. But I may be wrong, but I'm thinking Fortitude is the quiet perk, but it, it's one of the most amazing perks ever. But you can get it from the Playstation Network store for like 99 cents. But for people, uh, if I'm wrong about this perk, uh, you know, just comment below and just correct me about it. But I'm my current guess, I think it's... One of the ones that helps you move silently. But like I said, I may be wrong. So, you know, just comment below and just let me know um, <laughs> if I'm wrong or not. But um, the next one is Scavenger. And Scavenger is one of the perks that you that you will have to pay. And it's 99 cents as, as well. And Scavenger is one of the best perks. One, one of them. And for people who don't know what Scavenger do, Scavenger basically, like, if people who haven't played Call of Duty, it helps you pick up supplies, etc. That's what basically Scavenger do. But if you move it up to, like, four and three, you can pick up, like, more parts, etc. And, like, you can pick up parts, much more parts, important stuff, important, uh, you know, stuff to craft your weapons, etc. Like that. And then 
what's special about scavenger is that you don't have to press triangle to pick it up it just automatically scavenge it so it makes it more easier for the player you know to just kill the enemy and just keep on going pick it up and stuff and keep on going that's instead of pressing triangle and you know bending down to grab everything it makes it much more slower so you know just be more aware of that but scavenger is definitely one of the best perks that you can use in the game and remember it's only 99 cents so if people who want to get this perk you might as well get it because it's one of the best <laughs> and um moving on to the uh, third perk is marathon runner and for people who know what mar marathon is you know it helps you run faster or longer but marathon is one of the good ones as well because like when you're in a gunfire or something you can like have a quicker way like run much more faster to get to cover like when like when an enemy is shooting down at you and getting chased but i got that marathon helps you it, it, it comes in handy a lot because i think it gives you a little bit more speed and helps you run much more faster so you know just keep that in mind it, it's one of the best like literally at least for like escaping gunfire now for the last and final perk is crafter um, and for people who don't know what crafter is, crafter is basically is basically a perk that helps you um helps you craft your weapons much more faster. About because I have but you like you might you're gonna have crafter one because you're not it's gonna be too full. But crafter one I think it have fifty percent of uh of crafting speed 50 or maybe 30 percent but it, it's it comes in handy big time it helps you it help you you know if you're like about to craft a weapon and you're about to go into gunfire it helps you craft it much more faster and give you a good, good getaway to go but um i don't know what the speed is of the crafting i probably might calculate that and you know just let you guys know what the speed is of the crafter but crafter comes extremely in handy especially when it comes down to like crafting your weapons like when you're in a closed on gunfire you can get a molotov or something like that and now for the special weapons um, is the double barrel, and for people who don't know, double barrel is uh, you have to pay for that as well. I think it's 1.99 or 99 cents, but you guys can just check that out if you want to. But I will be putting the stuff in the description to tell you guys how much the stuff is, uh, how much the stuff is, and how much it will cost. But the double barrel is one of the best guns as well. Not the best, but it's it's a good gun when it comes to close range because, like, when you're in close gunfire, it's good to like. When you see an enemy, you can uh, go up on tunnel and shoot. But I recommend it only takes two bullets to kill. It's not just one; it takes two. But it, it really is it's really manageable, and especially because it's like just one. So it basically, it gives a good amount of damage to like you know take an enemy down if you want to take out one of them. But it's, it's like a really good gun to get you know get a good getaway to go. But um. But yeah, just uh, get that and trust me, you'll be on your way. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm glad to help you guys out with these. Uh, I will be bringing more, more Last of Us uh, custom loadouts and give you much more of mine. But um, these are some pretty good, this is a pretty good class setup that I made myself. And um, as you guys will have seen in the video, it really, you know, has a lot of good kicking and pushing and really kills a lot of enemies. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More great videos coming soon. If you want to see more Last of Us tips and tricks, etc., make sure you hit the subscribe button. And also show some support by double clapping that like button. And also, if you guys want to ask more questions, etc., you know, you can comment me or email me, which will be in the description. Or you can add me on PlayStation if you want to play with me on Last of Us as well. Not only that, um, I twitch every day at 7 p.m. Pacific time and 10 o'clock Eastern time. So if you guys want to check that out, I might change the time time zone uh, since you know Eastern time is pretty late. But I might, but you know, I'll make an update round schedule on that. But um, it will be in the description below if you guys want to check out my Twitch chat schedule. If you guys want to check me out, I stream almost every day. So you guys want to check that out? Um, be it'd be greatly appreciated. But um, that's all I have to say. More great videos coming soon. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, that's all I have to say, you guys. Peace out. KD Drifty, signing out.